Hi, uh, it's me again. I'm obviously a big fan of technology. I'm um, doing these video blogs. Huh. Obviously not a big fan of the hairdresser, am I? Oh, well, yeah, that's never happened before. Uh, but uh, sometimes it can be a little disconcerting. Uh, I was looking through my phone the other day and uh, realizing how many of my contacts are dead. I mean, literally dead. Uh, friends of mine who I've known and loved have left the planet. Uh, uncles. Uh, uh, I don't think any aunts yet, but but it's it's kind of odd. Uh, today I got a I was on Skype and I got a message from uh, Stuart Reinsberger. Uh, Stuart Reinsberger was a client of mine, a very good client of mine for years. Uh, he was from New Zealand, lived in England. Always said he was going to go back to New Zealand. I don't think he ever got back there, but. Uh, at any rate, he, uh, when he did his, from the Skype, it said, you know, message from Stuart Reinsberg. I'm thinking, wow, we have finally tapped into the eternal internet, the ethers that uh, be. And it's his birthday, I guess. I had forgotten that. Uh, I know he was born near the pig. Uh, I remember stuff like that. I don't know why I remember Eastern, but not Western. But Stuart came and did my second class in England. I uh, had to drive back to Oxford, near Oxford. Um, Kidlington. I love the near that town. And uh, got a few hours of sleep on his uh, chiropractic table, got up. His uh, office manager came in and said, you know, I saw two things. One, he was very, very tired. And two, I can't remember the last time I've seen him this happy. Uh, like I said, Stuart did a lot of class. He did month, month longs with me. Uh, he was not solely responsible, but brought a new type of chiropractic, a thing called network chiropractic, to England. And apparently a lot of the chiropractors who were practicing network there owe a debt of gratitude to Stuart. Uh, when he was dying, uh, I did a class with him. He asked for a class. He said, just don't ask me if you had a week to live, what you would do. But the Mac I'm talking to you was a gift from him. Uh, I worked on him quite a bit to see if, there, if we could impact his uh, state of health, and it really, it didn't seem to do much. It seemed to do a lot, but then he left. He had other things that he wanted to do, and uh, he did them, and I admire that. Uh, I think I said this before, uh, when he was dying, he was in a hospital facility, I think. I would call him on uh, our respective cell phones or call him on his cell phone, and when he saw it was me, he would always answer, which I really appreciate because I know he was tired and and near the end, he would, uh, in a couple of times in conversations, he would say, I wonder what's coming next. And I would think, I know what's coming next. <laughs> you know, the end of this lifetime as you know it. But as I got into the question, what I realized was he was asking the eternal big question. And he was where I think, no, he is where I know I want to be. He was wondering. He was out in curiosity, thinking, hmm. I wonder what's coming next. We're all going to go through it. It's one thing we all get to share in common. And we all get to wonder that. Some of us seem to know. Stuart wondered, so will I. Thanks, Stuart. Thanks for checking in today. Love you, man. Bye.